Tunbridge Wells, an historic West Kent town home to 56,000 people, famous for its Victorian pantiles, spring waters and now an emerging live music scene. With successful venues such as the Grey Lady and the Forum within the town, local unsigned acts are really beginning to prosper. Today we meet one of the main men behind the successful Grey Lady Music Lounge, acclaimed local singer-songwriter Paul Dunton. Hi Paul, thanks so much for coming today. Um, okay. I'm referring to the local music scene here in Tunbridge Wells. Um, the Grey Lady does spring to mind as one of the uh, front runners from one of the venues. Um, so how did the idea all begin? Um, well, it, it first started a few years ago. I was invited um, the great lady invited me to perform as a, as a soloist on a Wednesday evening. Take you away from these places you cannot... uh, it was a great opportunity for me um, to sort of have the chance to play my own music, but it soon sort of dawned on me that if that's happened week in, week out, it was never really going to sustain a, you know, a longevity. And um, Also, I felt that I didn't have a big enough repertoire of, of songs to keep that going. And I think when in, attracting an audience, one thing that's very important is variety. I sense an idea across the air to find you. Oh, although I'm very aware the forum does put on acoustic shows, but I was thinking on a more of a weekly basis. So I just started inviting um, local acts, soloists and acoustic bands, and that just started off with a few, literally two or three, um, and it's just grown and grown and grown from there. As you say, yeah, um, the over 130 acts on your road to Are you looking for any more? Like, how do you scout for them? Yeah, well, uh, um, initially I sort of invited acts. You know, I knew a lot of friends and uh, I've been to see a lot of bands in the local area. Anyway, so that's how the sort of initial numbers started forming. And then from there it got to the point where I was being sent CDs in and uh, emails and uh, inquiries were coming into the venue uh, as the show sort of got more of a reputation about itself. Um, and I think that's really due to the part that it's, it's a great venue, but also the sound is very, very good as well. And it's a real listening showcase, which is quite unique. You'd have to probably go to London or Brighton to kind of find something similar. So I think that in itself, um, with a bit of good word of mouth, has, has led to acts just either sending me CDs to the venue or, or contacting me through the website. They've kind of found out about the show and approached me. Sort of. Yeah, they, they find out through um, yeah. like they look uh, BBC Radio Kent and the local like, Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I try and publicise the show as much as I can. It, it doesn't really make any money, to be honest with you, because I give the money away to the acts who play. Um, but, yeah, I have very much involved with BBC Radio Kent and KMFM, which are the two local stations, and then the Courier newspaper as well. Mm. So it's those sort of three elements that help me okay. publicise it. And uh, even for, like, um, the up-and-coming bands, the have to look at yourself... Uh, who your latest album is available at HMV, yeah. so you can see that um, even at this level you can, you can get recognised uh, quite easily. Um, do you have any tips or anything for, the, for these bands, like for the, this grassroots level? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think the show, it's kind of, um, what's fantastic about it is you have the grassroots element where you have younger acts starting out and gives them an opportunity to perform to a listening audience, you know, people who are there to listen to the music and get experience of live performance and all the various um, facets of that, you know, from mic technique to developing a really good repertoire of songs, um, perhaps working with other musicians, and then you have the more established acts who've really come through and, and got a good following from the show. Um, as you mentioned, Ian Knapp, I mean, he's done very, very well. His music has sold very well on iTunes, and he, he has toured America very successfully, uh, enjoyed a lot of radio play in the States. Um, and plus, there are other acts who are really making the breakthrough, getting national radio play as well, which is obviously a lot harder, but it's great that we've got acts like Tom Williams and The Vote and Logan Wilson who are getting played on Radio 1 and Radio 2. New ground now, aren't you? 
the new Peter Express in Maidstone. Yes, yeah. Yeah, how's that going? At the moment? Really well, yeah. We um, we uh, I made the expansion about um, well, our opening show was the 19th of February, and that sold out, which was fantastic. And the idea of there is it's a natural progression in terms of putting on what I do at the Grey Lady in another part of the county. So yeah. the idea is really to source acts from that area. So the Grey Lady kind of focuses on acts from Tunbridge Wells and West Kent. The show in Maidstone is really going to be sort of sourcing acts from the, the mid to East Kent area. Um, but it essentially is the same show. It's just, again, providing people with that uh, a kind of really high calibre listening acoustic showcase. So what does the future hold for Grey Lady now with the expansion? Yeah, it's going great guns. It's, um, as I say, 130 acts playing at the show. There's a big waiting list as well. Um, it's twice a week. We've been uh, twice a week since April 2007. And I, I can just see it keep on going. It's, um, it's also the precursor for Local and Live, the festival. All the acts who play at Local and Live come from the Grey Lady show. Um, so it really gives, I really feel that it's the Grey Lady shows and Local and Live are real building a music community. Um, I'm a big supporter of the forum as well. I think they do a great thing for local music and um, it is slightly different, I suppose, in, in some elements that what I focus on is more acoustic music. Um, but I think those three combined really have, are starting to provide this really sort of uh, great scene that's emerging in Tunbridge Wells. And I think it's fantastic that it's original music. Uh, you know, Tunbridge Wells over the years has always had lots of pubs putting on covers bands, which that's a great thing too, but I think for me it's all about creativity and originality. And it's you know, a great way for young people as well to channel you know, their energy into creating music. You know? So I think the future is bright and I think as, uh, as long as the Grey Lady shows keep going and Local and Live is, is very much happening once a year, I think you know, lots of positives to come. Okay then, well thanks very much Paul. Thank thanks. Much for thanks Tom. Thanks, See you after an insightful interview, I've decided to visit the Music Lounge to get a first-hand insight into this exciting project. Yeah, I thought the first no act was good. <laughs> uh, it had, it no had some interesting vibes about it. And the second act found a lot more moving, actually, and um, quite deep. And I enjoyed it quite a lot. And I live and I feed up your pleasures and your needs. What's been your opinion so far about tonight? Um, it's good. It's been a nice atmosphere. Um, quite enjoyed it. Um, good playing, messed up a little bit, but that's fine. But yeah, yeah, yeah it's good fun. I think it's a good place to play for acoustic music. Um, I think Paul's done a good job. Take you away from these places you cannot hide. It's got a good vibe to it, it's got, it feels homely, it feels nice. Paul, bless him, does his best to make the axe feel, you know, at home. Take me away from this, take me away. Take me away from the he really, he really helps people out. And he encourages local music, all the stuff he does for local and live, it's fantastic. It's a, it's a good place to play. It is clear to see now what Paul and the other performers are talking about regarding the atmosphere at the Grey Lady. The music scene in this area is continuing to make massive strides in the right direction. Who knows how much bigger this music scene can get 
Generations with help from National Radio Play and the press, the sky's the limit. With the chosen few.